Well, um, well, you and I have talked about this before, but I'm doing hyperbaric treatments. I've done 40 of them, 40 90 minute treatments over the past few months. How's it feeling? I don't know. I feel pretty good. good. But I always feel good. Uh, That's what's confusing. Well, like, I've been doing the, so much shit for so long. Yep. And the hyperbaric treatments, the reason why I'm doing it is yeah. because of that study out of Israel. You want to tell people about that? Uh, yeah, so this is a, a study out of Israel. It's um, a group that has uh, a chamber built by Germans, which is ironic, over in Israel. And that, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I went in this chamber, actually. I visited them uh, before COVID, some of my good friends over there. And what they do is they put you... You probably, I don't know if yours is the same, but this is a really big room and you can fit about 20 people in there and they give you oxygen, so extra oxygen, and then they raise the pressure up and then they drop it and raise it. Is that what you've mm -hmm. been doing? Yeah. And so what happens, I think, to the body is the body's going, oh shit, I've got too much oxygen. So it responds. And then the decreased oxygen makes you feel hypoxic, like running. So this is a way of getting, you might view exercise without having to exercise. And then you turn on these longevity genes. And I would bet, though I haven't proven it yet, though I am working on it, is that some of these genes that we've discovered, the sirtuins, or was discovered to be involved in aging, we didn't discover them, uh, are activated by this hyperbaric chamber. And what they showed in this paper that got probably you excited as well as everyone else is, they looked at the ends of chromosomes which shorten over time, the telomeres, and they actually got longer after this uh, therapy. And that is a sign of reversing aging. It's not as good as the clock that I'm developing, but it is a good sign. And they decided after examining these people from 90 min or ninety days doing 60 sessions that it gave you the equivalent of 20 years decrease in biological age. In Israel, researchers claim to have successfully reversed the biological aging process by using oxygen therapy. We are taking the patient into hyperbaric chamber increasing the pressure and by increasing the pressure we are increasing the capacity of the molecules that can go into the lungs and through the lungs to the system. The treatment has been shown to increase telomere length. Telomeres are the protective caps at the end of chromosomes, structures located inside our cells that carry our genetic information. As the human body grows older the telomeres begin to shorten until they no longer protect the chromosomes and that's when cells begin to die. The oxygen therapy also benefits stem cells, which serve as a repair system for the body. The most powerful trigger that we have in our body that can stimulate stem cells is hypoxia, is lack of oxygen. Because when there is lack of oxygen, it serves as a signal to the body so to tell him, oh, there was hypoxia, now we have a problem. Let's start to replicate. We need you. We need you guys. Come along. Replicate and come along. So what we can do, we can take a person, hold his breath, stop his heartbeat. He will have hypoxia and then he will have stem cells. There is only one problem with regard to that. This is unhealthy. <laughs> so we thought about it more and we said, okay, what the body actually sense? Does the body sense absolute values or does the body sense fluctuations? Does it sense relative value? So we have generated a certain protocol where we are taking the patient into the chamber, increasing their blood oxygenation to very high level, and then do a fast decline back to the normal value. And then going up and down again, we are generating fluctuation. And this decline from very high back to the normal is being interpreted by the body as hypoxia, as lack of oxygen, even though the body have extra oxygen. And by doing that, we are both replicating the stem cells and giving them the area where they can settle down and build up the tissue. You can see cerebral blood flow that is increasing to an area that previously didn't have blood flow, but we can also see the microstructure of the brain. We can actually see the, the bundles of the, of the white matters in the brain. So we can see that, combine with that, and see the clinical improvement, whatever it is. Cognitive function, motor function, speaking capabilities, coordination, and things like that. Results from one of Tel Aviv University's studies found that the telomere length of four key cells increased by over 
For the first time in human beings, we were able to demonstrate that together with the improvement in the functional measurements, brain perfusion, brain microstructure, cognitive function, we can also reverse the aging at the cellular level. We prove that in human beings, not animal models, we can elongate the telomere length. This is DNA, sequence of DNA and reduce the amount of the senescent cell, which is the aging malfunction in cells. We talked about cancer a little bit as well, and we also talked about Wim Hof. Um, is there any studies around breath work in, you know, over-oxygenation? Because I know that from the stuff I've read that usually cancer, if you're, you're looking at the, the this place that it is, cancer tends to grow in an acidic environment. People talk about how if you're over-oxygenated, that's an alkaline environment. Um, do you know of any anything around breath work and in, in over-oxygenating the body that way? Well, yeah. So the Warburg effect is what it's called. And, and cancer cells love sugar. Um and don't use a lot of oxygen for that reason. Mm -hmm. They're in a hypoxic state, whereas the opposite is hyperoxygenation. Mm -hmm. And now I, I don't think uh, that I've seen evidence that uh, you know, just breathing a lot would make any difference, but you can do hyperbaric chamber mm -hmm. uh, therapy. And there is some really interesting data that just came out, not on cancer, but on, uh, what was it? It was uh, dementia, I believe. Um, and there's also there's a paper that came out looking at telomeres, the ends of the chromosomes that that represent your age and get shorter as you get older. Uh, they reversed that process with age, uh, just with some therapy in this hyperbaric oxygen chamber. So I think there's some merit to it. And I, I've done some work on this as well. We find that, um, I won't get too much into it, but having, uh, as you get older, your muscles get tricked into thinking that there's not enough oxygen around. Mm -hmm. they become hypoxic mm -hmm. and that they shut their own mitochondria down because they think, oh, this person's not breathing enough. They've gone to the top of Mount Everest, so they don't, don't make mm -hmm. as much mitochondria. Uh, the problem there is that your body's in a state of hypoxia, which is bad. You don't make mitochondria. You don't make energy. You feel probably, you feel lethargic. And we found that by blocking that process and getting the cells back in a couple of weeks to feeling normal, uh, mice could now run twice as far on a treadmill. They were super healthy, super fit, had the energy back. And so, yeah, it's this oxygen stuff and mitochondria is intimately linked to aging. Um, and the older you get, the less uh, um, mitochondrial activity you have. Now, you can boost that up again, probably by exercising, uh, by being a bit cold, um, and perhaps even by heavy breathing. That part I don't know about. But it's really important. Um, and I think it's the future for a lot of uh, therapies, given what I've seen.